what up? I'm going to give it a minute here so people can jump on. i got to change the title to the 14-day challenge. You see me looking over here, it's at Michelle. Hi, guys. Making faces at me, stuff. So. What up, Nikki? Hi, Roxy. Want to come up? Oh, and this is Roxy. Oh, taste it. All right, we are going to get started and people can watch the replay. Um, so I wanted to talk about self-confidence, anxiety, stress. Hey, Anna, how's it going? Um, and anyone who doesn't know, my name is Joel Williams. I am coming to you live from my living room with a beautiful wall behind me. Um, so is anxiety ruining your life? That's a question I have for people. Um, is it like deadlines, pressures at work? Uh, maybe your your kid is at school having issues with school, a health condition maybe nagging at you, without realizing it, anxiety could just take over your life. Um, so I'm just going to give you a, a quick example of something for me personally. <laughs> um, so I have noticed recently my hair is starting to thin a little bit, and it's it's not like a super big deal. Hey, Melanie, Michael, how's it going? Monique, Margaret, and other people. <laughs> um, so my hair is thinning a little bit. I'm losing in some areas. So this, for me, it's creating a little bit of, you know, anxious energy. And, like, I can I can feel my head and I can you know, look at my head in the mirror and you can see that. And I'll do that. I'll look at myself and then I'll say, hey, babe. Look at, look at my hair. And she's like, oh, no, your your hair looks fine. And then for me, it's like, well, that feels good for about 20 seconds until I think, well, maybe she wasn't, you know, really listening to me. And next thing, next thing I know, I'm like looking online for stuff for hair and thinking about random things like that until you see the side effects. And it's like, you know, erectile dysfunction and all sorts of good stuff like that. <laughs> So I wanted to share a few simple things that can help with anxious thoughts, um, stuff like that. So the first thing is you want to, you know, just kind of cool it down. So thoughts like I, I can't stand this. Um, this is awful. That's just gonna, you know, keep, keep things building up in the fire. It's just feeling it. Um, so instead think about the things, the things that you can change, what can you do to make that better? Hey, Keenan and Colton, how's it going? Um, so think about the things that you can change and just kind of let go of the things that you can't change. Like it's not going to do you any good thinking about all that, the crap that you, you have no control over. Like hair is something you can't really control. I mean, it's, it's going to go when it wants to go. You can use something if you're willing to accept the other negatives that come with that. Um, you can do that as well. So next thing that I wanted to say is you, you want to talk it out. Um, re research has actually shown that um, just naming your feelings, like talk, talking things out with someone, it actually helps a lot. And it's easier to do if you have somebody else rather than just you know kind of writing them down. Writing them down is better than doing nothing, but if you have someone to talk it out, it makes it easier on you because you actually have the interaction with somebody. Um, tip number three is get some perspective. It can... It can stem from so many different things um, that that aren't really you know important in the long run. So I have something that I like to do is think about, well, how is this? So for me, hair. I mean, that's something that just kind of recently started. But how is that going to affect like the thoughts of it? How is it going to affect me in five minutes? And how is it going to affect you in five days? How is it going to, hey, Claudia, how's it going? 
how's it going to affect you, you know, in five weeks? How's it going to affect you in five years? It, is it going to make that much of an impact in your life? For me, like, hair is, eventually I'm not going to have any hair anyways. So it's, it's, you know, take it or leave it. I can either try and use something that's going to help it regrow back and possibly cause me other issues, or I can just deal with it and accept it, which is pretty much what I do with almost everything. I like to sit back and just see if it's something worth even wasting that negative energy on worrying about stuff and creating more problems in my life. Um, so quick recap, um, work on what you can change because there are some things that you can change, accept what you can change. Um, talk it out with somebody. That's number two. Hey, Patty, how's it going? Um, and then number three is perspective. You know, put things in perspective, see if it's going to, like, what is it going to do to your life in five minutes, five hours, five days, five weeks, five years? How important is it to you? And what's it going to, like, what's the impact? Um, so I do have six more things that should be able to help you guys. If you do have issues with anxiety, stress, and self-confidence, um, if you would like these tips, feel free to shoot me a message and I will get that over to you. Thanks for jumping on. Have a great night.